Hey, what's up guys? I'm Mercy with DiscountLowVoltage.com and today we're going to talk a little bit about Google Fiber. It's been in the news a lot lately. What is it? And I'm also going to try to figure out exactly what type of fiber cable they're using. Don't forget to also subscribe to my channel for all kinds of other product related videos on fiber and anything low voltage. Now the fiber cable I think they're using is a, well, not a breakout fiber. Interlocking OM3 fiber, new eh, indoor outdoor cable construction, eh, maybe. Uh, single mode, is it a single mode? Just a two strand? Eh, I think it's single mode, but not two strand. Here we go. An outdoor loose tube, yeah. All right, let's uh, talk about Google Fiber for a minute. All right, so let's take a quick look. Here is your global internet and Google right now, throughout Kansas City, they've made what they call Google Huts. Now, they're going to bring the connectivity, the global web, to these huts, and then they're running from the hut, they're running the fiber cable on telephone poles or underground to the home or to the, you know, the commercial applications. Now, some of this cable is brand new, but a lot of it is dark fiber. Now, dark fiber is unused fiber cable that's already there. That cable has been maybe there for 10, 15 years from a previous company that maybe went bankrupt. There's a lot of this type of cable throughout the U.S., so I think that's probably why you're seeing this rollout now into Austin. Um, I'm sure it's probably going to keep going. Um, dark fiber is pretty much peppered everywhere. Commercial buildings, underground, a lot of telecom companies have it everywhere. Now to try to figure out what cable they're using, this fiber cable from the huts to the home, now that is a pretty far run. Now usually multi-mode cable, and eh, it ain't going that far. I mean you can get two kilometers out of it, but that's about 10 100 speed. One gig, you can get that at around 750 feet. So we're going to cross off multi-mode. It's definitely going to be a single mode fiber. Now, what type of single mode? There are quite a few other types of constructions. There's an indoor single mode. Obviously, we're not going to use that here. There's an outdoor single mode. That sounds about right, but there's also an outdoor and a loose. There's a tight buffer and a loose tube. And um, why would you use a tight buffer over a loose tube? Well, the loose tube is a little more flexible when you need more strands. Tight buffer, eh, it's pretty nice in tight areas, uh, space constrained areas, but for large applications like this, for when you need quite a few strands for each location, you're probably going to go for a loose tube. And we're going to check that cable out here in just a second. So we're looking for a loose tube, single mode. And now, aerially, it's, it's okay if we have an outdoor rated jacket. Underground, we're going to need an armored type of construction underneath that jacket so it'll last you man, maybe around 30 years. Let's check that cable out. Now this is what I suspect a lot of those technicians are working on. This is an outdoor cable. You have your black jacket there. And for underground applications, you're going to see this kind of armor. If you're running along the telephone lines up high on the poles, you're going to order a cable and you're going to need something that doesn't have the armor. Now, as I mentioned before, this is a loose tube construction. And the nice thing about this cable, this is manufactured by Corning, it's an Altos cable. You can get 12 strands of fiber per tube, per buffer tube. And depending on how many strands total you need, I believe there's about two different styles. There's one that will hold up to, I think, 72 strands. Then there's another style, same exact construction, it's just a little larger, but it'll hold up to 288 fibers. But of course, if you only need, I don't know, 96 fibers or 72, uh, the manufacturer is going to continue to fill each one of those tubes with just 12 more. It's a little easier for the manufacturer to make maybe two or three different type of cable constructions and then you can just add the strands of fiber as you need them. So there's a quick explanation of what Google's up to and maybe what type of cable they're using. Now I hope Google is coming to my city because I have Charter and I hate that company. But hopefully soon. Can't wait to get rid of them. Don't forget to sub my channel and comment below. Thanks.